In July 1978, a Russian scientist named Anatoly Bugorsky was tasked with testing faulty equipment at the U-70 synchrotron, the most powerful particle accelerator of the time, located in the Soviet Union. This machine accelerated beams of electrons, protons, and heavy ions to high speeds for collision experiments. During one incident, while trying to detect a malfunction, Bugorsky thrust his head into the accelerator and a proton beam passed through it. The beam entered the left side of his head and exited near his left nostril. At that moment, Bugorsky saw a flash of light brighter than the sun, but felt no pain. When Bugorsky was taken to the hospital, the left side of his face was swollen and the skin began to peel. Doctors were certain he would die after receiving a high dose of radiation, but despite suffering radiation sickness, partial facial paralysis, and a small hole in his skull, Bugorsky survived and went on to defend his doctoral dissertation in physics. Advances in technology have come a long way since then, prompting the question, what would happen if someone placed a body part, like an arm, into a modern particle accelerator like the Large Hadron Collider? The U-70, compared to modern technology, is now considered weak, operating at less than 1% of the power of the LHC. The LHC accelerates protons around its 17-mile loop, only 7 miles per hour slower than the speed of light, causing them to collide with immense force. Some scientists theorize that such collisions could even create small black holes. The energy required to accelerate a beam of 100 billion protons to near light speed is enormous, similar to the energy needed to propel a 400-ton train at 100 miles per hour. This power could drill through a 100-foot thick block of copper in milliseconds, which is why particle accelerators are housed deep underground for safety. So what happens if you place your hand into a particle accelerator? First, you would likely experience extreme auditory disturbances. The beam could strike the bones in your jaw, turning them into conductors for the beam, making sounds as loud as concert speakers. In fact, scientists have observed that a proton beam hitting a graphite block creates an explosion equivalent to 200 pounds of TNT, which would rupture eardrums instantly. If your hand entered the beam, the protons would pass through without resistance and you wouldn't feel pain initially because the beam is extremely thin. Your hand might even remain functional as long as you don't move it. Anatoly Bogorsky survived because the U-70 accelerator fired only one proton shot. However, the LHC fires 3,000 proton shots in just two seconds. Any sudden movement could lead to the beam slicing through your hand. Even if you kept still, there's another grave danger. Radiation. The particles in the LHC emit intense radiation, even hundreds of yards from the beam. Exposing your hand to the beam would result in radiation equivalent to a full chest X-ray, but the exact exposure level is difficult to calculate. Most of the radiation would pass through your hand without touching it because, on the atomic level, much of your hand is empty space. However, enough radiation would be absorbed to cause severe damage. If you received a lethal dose of radiation, you would face a slow, painful death similar to what happened to two Japanese workers, Hisashi Uchi and Masato Shinohara, who were exposed to radiation during the Tokimura nuclear accident in 1999. Uchi and Shinohara didn't feel the effects immediately, but after a few hours, their bodies began to suffer severe symptoms. In the case of a hand in the LHC beam, symptoms would manifest almost instantly. The radiation would turn the world around you blue due to the Cherenkov effect, which happens when radiation passes through your eye fluids faster than the speed of light in that medium. Auchi and Shinohara reported seeing a blue light after their accident. In addition to the color distortion, you would experience intense heat, nausea, and burns. Your white blood cell count would drop to near zero, leaving your immune system defenseless against infections. You would likely die within four to eight weeks after exposure, though your hand would heal. Ultimately, placing any part of your body into a particle accelerator is a recipe for a painful death. 
With even more powerful accelerators like China's planned 62-mile-long particle collider expected by 2030, one can only wonder what might happen if a person came too close. What groundbreaking discoveries will these machines make, and what dangers might they pose? If you found this interesting, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know about new content. Stay tuned, there's more exciting science to come.